This is how I join in the round for Magic Loop. Um, and this is how all my patterns are written for, if I've written a pattern for joining in the round for Magic Loop. This is how I've adapted the stitches because when I join in the round, um, we lose a stitch. So that means I'm going to tell you to cast on for one more stitch than is actually ne needed um, for the pattern. So in this particular pattern, it doesn't really matter how I divide the stitches. So I just kind of fold it in half and I'll slide it down. And now I get both of these down here on the end. And the easiest way I have found to do this, get up close here, as I'm going to take, so um, this needle closest to me has my active tail yarn that it, to knit with. And I am going to take the loop from the needle far from me and I'm going to place it on the front needle. Now this would be the first stitch that I had casted on. So I slipped that there. And now I'm going to take the um, loop that's now the second one in but was the last stitch that I cast it on and we're going to pass that over the top of the stitch that we just put on this needle and we're going to drop it off of the needle and then I'm going to give my tails a little bit of a tug to snug them up not too tight though because you want to be able to to slide it and now what that's done is we are joined together in the center there and we are ready to knit in the round using magic loops. I take my working yarn through the center and I'm going to pull the needle furthest from me out, being careful not to pull it too far. And then we are ready to begin knitting in the round.